So now that we've exposed the whole book, we know why we're writing, we know what kind of stuff we have already created, let's bring some kind of an order to it. Gather all this stuff together and uh, think about for each piece you've got what kind of categories it could fit into. Write a 3 by 5 card for each category and now try and put each idea from the stuff that you already have into a category. When you're done, you're going to find some categories that don't have anything in it. You thought there should be stuff there, but maybe nothing ended up there. could mean you should throw that category out. It could mean that you need to create the content for that category. Save that for a later step. Some stuff you just won't be able to decide, does it belong in this category or does it belong in that category? Well, consider the fact that if that happens more than once, maybe those two categories should really be combined. Uh, some other categories will be huge, a big stack of stuff all in the same category. Drill down, break it up into subcategories because that one's probably a little too big to just be a single chapter or section in the book. And now, let's put stuff in order, prioritize it. Now, prioritizing means something comes first, not necessarily chronologically. In fact, it's rarely chronologically unless you're writing a history story. Um, and sometimes order doesn't matter. Does the chapter on Bob Dylan have to come before the chapter on Tom Petty? It, hard to say, d based on the idea of your book. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just doesn't matter. But the thing is, get stuff in some kind of an order. You can always come back and change it later. But now we've got those categories that we didn't put anything in, and all of the stuff that is in categories, there are probably some gaps.